Some of these buildings are 3D printed and it's really hard to tell which ones because I found a really good way to not only hide print lines but to really speed paint these buildings. My name is Troy and this is Facility D20 where we're always making cool stuff. I printed this on my Langer LK5 Pro. The first layer laid down nice. 25% complete. Fifty percent, seventy five percent, ninety five percent complete, and then finally it was done. I popped it off the bed and removed the supports. This thing was looking good, but I started to print another one. This one was not as tall. This is the factory style one. You can kind of see the print lines a bit here but the camera's playing a bit of a trick on us. It's still hard to see. And this is the cathedral style one. If you guys were wondering where I got these files, I picked them up on Thingiverse, they're free, I'll link it in the description below, you can grab them. And if you're wondering, the big one took me 2 days and 13 hours and cost about $10.50 in materials. But I also had to put the floors on. So I threw the floor files in Blender and decided to build the floors before I printed them out. That way I could join them all together as one piece. Once I got the base floor done, I just copied it, pulled it upwards, deleted the pieces I didn't need until I had all the floors for both of the buildings. And to print up the floors like this for the manufactorium, it was going to take about 8 hours, it cost about $1.83. You might have noticed recently that I had my printer set up on my hobby desk, which isn't great because it wasn't very sturdy and it wobbled a lot. And when your printer is wobbling, you can cause problems like ghosting and imperfect prints. I got this nice sturdy Mastercraft bench that I'm going to set up and have a new home for my printers. If you're enjoying this video, smash that like button. The algorithm loves it and it really helps small channels like this out. After about a day, these things were printed and I popped them off the bed. Here are the two buildings that we're gonna go ahead and paint and try to hide those print lines. First up, I had to prime it black. Now that these things are prime, you can kind of see the print lines a little bit better in them. So what's the secret here? Well, I've got some truck bed liners. We have a Dupla color and a Rust-Oleum. I'm going to hit these with this textured paint. I'm hoping that's going to hide the print lines. Out of these two, I think the Dupla color may have worked a little bit better, but not a big noticeable difference. I've let these things drop for a couple hours. Now I'm going to take some metallic colors, and I'm going to do some like xenothal highlighting from the top down, to try to add some colors to these buildings really quickly. I've never done this before like this, I don't know if it's going to work, but I figured I'd give it a shot. 
The trick with this part is to try not to overspray it and just give it a little dusting. Any metallic color that you like should work fine for this. It was pretty easy and super fast to do. Here I use some metal color. I think if I had some coppers and bronzes, I could paint up a whole city of buildings in no time flat. I decided to take some cheap silver hobby paint and give it a really quick dry brush with a really big brush just to make some details pop a little bit more. You can join the facility by hitting the subscribe button. We're always making cool stuff here, whether it's sci-fi or fantasy dioramas, 3D printing or painting. I do my best to reach out to you guys and respond to every single comment. So go ahead, smash that subscribe button and come along for the ride. I didn't try to be particular with this. I pretty much just hit it super quickly with a really big brush. This silver should work over the top of any metallic colors that you decide to go with. Normally dry brushing is the enemy of 3D printed parts because it really brings out the layer lines, but over this textured truck bed liner, it worked out really good. As you can see, it's really hard to see those print lines. When these things are on the table, they just look absolutely awesome. I'm definitely going to be doing a few more and a few different metallic colors to really fill out the rest of my city board. You can see here they're blending in with some of that old school GW terrain. I glued the floors in once the whole thing was painted, just to make painting a little easier. I really want to take a second to thank my Patreons. You guys are awesome. You're making me take this channel to new levels. If anybody is interested in my Patreon, I'll drop the link in the description below. Check it out. Also, guys, I got a ton of really cool videos on my channel. I'll link some here. The links to my Patreon is on the other side, along with the button to subscribe. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Drop a line in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next one.